zippity bippity bobbity boo this is Matty P, and I'm talking to you. I want to make a quick video on finding a regression equation given a set of data. So this is an example from a recent problem set that we had where uh, we were given this set of data and asked to find a cubic regression, cubic regression. So to that end, I have a little tool that allows me to emulate a graphing calculator, and I'm recording this so we can kind of see how this works. So to enter that statistical data, I'm going to press the stat key, and then I'm going to choose uh, menu option one, edit, and there I have my lists. You can kind of consider L1 to be uh, the natural X or input value, and L2 to be commonly the, the Y or the output value. So I have to clear this old data from some previous problem, so I'll arrow up on top of L1, and I'll press clear, enter, and then I'll arrow over on top of L2 and clear the whole list and enter that clear. And now my lists are cleared. And I'll begin typing the X values. 0, 0.5, 1, 1 1.5, 2. Maybe I can speed this up as we go. <laughs> and finally at 8 seconds, 0 0.67 meters. OK, so now I've entered the data. Once I've entered the data, I might actually want to see it on the screen. So I can press second y equals, and that gives me the, the stat plot menu. Notice stat plot's in blue, so second y equals brings me to stat plot. I'll turn, um, I'm going to turn all my plots off with the four feature, just to make sure they're all off. I'll go back to second stat plot. I'll turn just one on, just plot one. I'll turn that on, and it'll, it'll be blue in color. And now if I hit my graph button, I can see those points. I might want to adjust my window ever so slightly to see kind of the top of this local max. So I'm going to change my window ever so slightly and increase the Y max a little bit. Um, this is, doesn't necessarily have to be done by hand, but uh, it certainly can be. And now I notice I went up a little bit. If I want to go to the right a little bit, I can change my X max and so on. All right, let's do the regression equation now. Let's do the regression equation. We know we have the data in there. We can see the data on the screen. Let's tell the calculator to find the best fit cubic equation. So we're going to hit, let me clear this so you can see exactly what I'm pressing. I'm going to hit stat. This time I'm going to go over to calc. Let's make a calculation. I've got a bunch of regression equation choices. I want six, the cubic. So I'll take the cubic equation. And my x values are in L1, my y values are in L2. I do not have a frequency. That's more of an AP stats kind of thing. Um, I do want to store this regression equation. I want to store it in Y1. There are two ways to get to Y1 that I'm aware of, probably more. One is uh, the long way. I press vars, arrow over to Y vars, press enter on um, 1 because I know it's a function. And then I can choose Y1 as my function. And notice it popped that in there. The quick way. If that wasn't there, the quick way is alpha F4. Alpha F4. Alpha F4 gives me my Y vars menu, so I can just hit enter on Y1. Either way, get Y1 in there, because then the calculation that it figures out, the equation it finds, will automatically be stored for you, and you don't have to write down all those decimal places, unless, of course, you're writing them into your answer booklet. Now when I press calculate, boom, 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 there I find my equation. I can see the coefficient in front of the cubic term is negative 0 0.082. The coefficient in front of the quadratic term is 0.919, and so on. Um, I could enter these into the ebook answer key if I needed to. I could also enter them onto a test booklet or in blue book. Um, the r squared value, that's called the correlation coefficient. The closer that is to 1, the more precise the model is based on those points that we gave it. This is about, I can consider it to be about 85% accurate. It's not really a percent fit, but you can kind of think of it that way. The correlation coefficient R squared um, tells you how closely the data fits a cubic model. In this case, about 85%. And again, that's not exactly 85%, but it's a nice way to think about it. It's an e easy way to think about it. Um, really, we would want to see an R squared value around 0 0.9, 0 0.99 uh, to know it was really tightly fitting. But this is pretty good, pretty good, pretty good fit. I'd say it's a positive correlation coefficient. We're good there. Um, and now if I press the graph button, I'll see this cubic equ equation going through those points. So you can see some points are a little above, some points are a little bit below, but it's a pretty good model. And then I can uh, answer any questions I need to about this model. Thank you very much.
Um, there is a tool in here called Diagnostics that allows me to see how precise it is. Um, and when, this is not a full course in statistics, but it is kind of nice to look at it. So in order to get to that, I know how to do it this way. I'm going to get to my catalog. My catalog allows me to see all the options. Catalog is in blue above the zero key. So I'm going to, I'm going to press second zero. And this is a catalog of all the functions built into the calculator. There are a lot of them. They're in alphabetical order. The diagnostics begins with D. So I'm going to, I'm going to either scroll down to the D's or realize that my alpha key um, will allow me to press the, the D button by using the, um, the inverse key there. And that's going to jump down to the D's and it'll save me some time. And now I can scroll and find diagnostics. And I want to turn diagnostic on. So I'm going to get to diagnostic on and I'm going to press enter, enter. And now diagnostics have been turned on. I'm going to now repeat this and find my regression equation. Again, stat, calc, cubic regression, enter. L1 is my X, L2 is my Y, no frequency. My regression equation is going to be stored in Y1. And I'm going to go ahead and do the calculation. And now watch. At the bottom, I get one more piece of information, and that's R squared. And that's called my correlation coefficient. So this kind of tells me how well correlated the data is to a cubic regression model. A value of 1 is a perfect fit. You can kind of think about it as a percent fit. That's not really what it is, but it's good enough for the way for us to think about it. So we could consider this to be like an 85% good fit. The lower that R squared number, the worse the data actually fits the model. So this is an okay model. I'd rather see something in the 0 0.9, 0 0.95, 0 0.99 range. But regardless, um, that's what that means.